So in this video, we're going to show you how you can use um, three-point block features or add three-point block features to your to your code library within Trimble Business Center, and then these code libraries can be used within Trimble Access. So the first thing we do is we drag and drop our FXL file into Trimble Business Center, and when you do that, you will see it appear on the list here under Feature Libraries. Before we start adding to the feature code library, what we need to do is we first need to draw a block. So I'm just going to go into CAD and I'm going to draw the line work that will um, be part of the block. And I'm just going to use a simple rectangle, which will be used um, for manholes in this case. So I'm just going to call it 00. zero. The elevation is not important. Layer is not important. And I'm just going to, the size is not really important either, but I'll just make it a sensible size. So 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Um, double click middle mouse button to zoom extents, take off the grid. There is our line. Now we're going to go to create a block of that. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to choose create block. I'm going to call this zero rectangle. I'm going to select it. So it's that object there. The location is going to be that point, that point, and it's a three point block. So we're going to have any point surveyed along this edge will basically rotate that block. So it could be in the corner, but it can also be in the edge. And then we just choose uh, to create that block zero rectangle. Once we've created the block, then we can go back and actually add it to our feature code library as a feature code. Obviously, you have to be very careful if you're editing existing features, then you're not allowed to add the same feature until you've deleted the one that's gone before. Um, so you need to make sure that adding a new feature definition is always a unique feature code. So we're going to right click, choose new block feature definition name. So we've chosen a new block feature definition. And this one I've already started to create. So the name is going to be rectangle. The code I'm just going to call this uh, zero rec. For the layer, this is what will govern which layer it goes into. So this is the services layer for, the, for that. So the line work will go into the services layer. The um, point uh, feature, the points that define the line work will go into a defined layer. So we'll just choose that points. And then we're going to use from three points. Um, and that will basically should be in a position that will work. So that's that code ready to go. So what I can do now is just test it. So I'm just going to go to create points. I'm going to call this one uh, zero rec as a code. Let me just double check what I called the code. Um, zero rec, yep, so zero rec. I'll put an easting of zero, uh, one meter. I'll put a northing of zero. I'll put an elevation of one. The second point, I will put in 0 0.6 and elevation of 1, and 1.601. Let me just edit that. So the way I like to serve it, so let me just edit the coordinates of the, point, the third point, and I'll just put that halfway up. So now if I go into Trimble Business Center and I just test this, so I just go to process feature codes. I'm going to process the feature codes of these keyed in points, which come up as keyed in block. And then I just process feature codes and that's what's going to be created. So now what I would do is once I've done all my blocks, and this is just an example of a three point block, you can do the same with two points as well. Um, and single point blocks, of course. We then go to our feature code library and we go to export and we go to GIS and we're going to export the FXL file, and we can then use it inside Access. So within the Access software, you can see here, I've tested this. So I've got point number one, point number two, point number three, using the three-point block, and it's creating that in yellow, admittedly not the best color for Access. And then we've got point number four, five, and six, and again, it's creating that rectangle. So that's a quick video on how to use three-point blocks within Trimble Business Center, um, which then can be utilized within Access. Uh, one setting, just to 
um, child for is check that your setting within Access is settings, and we're displaying the feature library symbols here. Make sure they're they're shown. Thank you.